All right, so I'm doing a, a seat belt buckle replacement because the inside of this one decided to freaking implode. So <sighs> I've got pretty much the whole seat just tilted back. Um, so there's four of these bolts right here, and they are T50 Torx bolts. You can see that. So. They're about that long there's four of them and um yeah pretty much took those back and in the box to hold the seat up the other thing you have to do with uh replacing the seat belt buckle is that you have to take this off this thing it's one component when you take it off it slides off this little metal piece right here. Um, if you can see that, there's a little like tab right here. You push it down and it slides off. And then the way you separate these two is that this one right here, you can see that tab, or is that tab? Uh, the tab's on this side, but it goes between here and it's on this piece right here. There, but what anyway, what holds these two together is this bolt right here. All right, you loosen that bolt, it stays stationary, it doesn't come up or anything. These two just come apart. Um, and then once you do that, you're able to get this out. This one is for the seat belt buckle, it goes. You see, I'm pulling on it. it. Falls all the way up over there. And this is kind of the, the shitty part about it. It's a pain in the ass. So, yeah, there's a cover on the back side you have to take off um, just to get the wire through. Um, and then there's another T50 bolt holding the. T50 Torx bolt holding in the seatbelt. Um, it's on the base on the outside right here. I don't know if you be able to see that. It's down there right there. So, let's take that off. You can take the seatbelt buckle out. And then, obviously, put a new one, run the wire under it, and back in this little junction block right here that runs under the carpet. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a pain in the ass. So, I will be back once I get that done.